Hi everybody, today is Thursday, August 15th, 2019. It's about 5.30 uh, here in Pasadena. I wanted to record this as a video because I think the information is too important just to put in text or even in an audio. We have had uh, a really incredible series of events here in the last seven to 10 days. So I want to give you an update here. I just got off the phone with Jason. I also spoke with the Hero Club today, so I have some fresh updates on all of that. Um, Jason is working on three or four more deals like the one he just uh, closed, the letter of intent on our first seven digit uh, order in our entire history, because that's really what it is. Uh, it's an order uh, to raise money for a million dollars. Uh, we also got news from the University of Michigan that the class Jason's been working with, along with an ad agency, will be helping us uh, manage the Google Grants account, and that will be focused on sportshares.net. That's going to be the focus of that, which will give us both um, nonprofit revenues, and it will also create new customers because, of course, everybody that goes to that site is going to sign up so that they can claim the, uh, the benefits and the bonus margin and everything. So double purpose there, probably get lots of college students also in the process because as they're working on it, they're going to certainly use it and they're going to tell people about it. So that's, uh, that's a lot. Uh, you probably want to back it up and, and watch that a few times and get all of what I just said because it's, it's a lot bigger than it maybe seems like it is. Uh, it's, it's huge news. Please believe me. It's, it's, the, it's the main thing uh, that we are supposed to be doing here. These Three or four more deals, uh, you know, this this is what we need to see happen. We need to be collecting these. Um, this is our order book. This is what makes everything work. Okay, so along with that, um, the call I had with the Hero Club this morning is just to kind of discuss everything from this point to the uh, December New York City uh, event, which they're calling Vision 2020. And, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> today I got <coughs> quite a surprise when we were going through the um, going through the through the structure because we want to uh, invite some speakers <clears throat> because in December we have Zach and we have Bernie and just a lot of, of uh, press presence and we can add to the event uh, and benefit everybody so going through the parameters of that uh, it's kind of funny because I was trying to understand what kind of um, guests they were looking for, and we settled on a set of parameters, which is going to be, to start with, uh, female athletes who have found success in business, and just trying to determine, like, what do I tell them, what is their, you know, what are they going to be doing, opener, closer, panel, and they said, well, it depends on who it is, and it depends on whether or not Donald Trump shows up, and I, frankly, I, for a second, I thought it was a joke until I remembered that, uh, Trump and, and and Jeff Hazlett are friends, and you can Google this for yourself. Go to YouTube, and you can go to see the Celebrity Apprentice clip that's uh, on YouTube. Jeff actually co-created that show and speaks with John, Donald Trump by phone to this day, I was told. It was confirmed to me, um, and he also speaks with, with Trump's kids. Um, I know I mentioned this before, but I'm putting it on video now. I, I was given permission to say this. This is, this is not um, sneaky stuff. So um, don't know whether he'll accept or not, but the point is is that the invite has been put out, and it's a longstanding relationship between Trump and um, and Jeff Hazlett. So um, that's <laughs> it's pretty interesting stuff, I think you would say. So what are we going to have in December? We're going to have um, a 30-minute panel. This is the same same December event in New York City. Um, we're going to have a 30-minute panel and Q&A. So I have to supply the materials um, for that tomorrow, actually. I'm going to try to push for a little bit more time and work on it this weekend. Um, they need the abstract and the assets um, tomorrow so they can start promoting this stuff um, three months you know, ahead of time, which is smart. Um, actually, it's a little 9, 10, I guess it's about four months ahead of time. So that's good. Um, the, so we'll have the panel, and then we're also going to do our first physical council meeting there. So we'll be able to invite um, our, our council uh, members uh, to, to that meeting if they can make it. And we also have some guest passes for people that are not council members um, that we'll be able to give away to the event. We'll figure out how to do that. I don't have a, uh, anything picked out just yet. I just found out about this today. Um, so there's that. 
uh, I put out the uh, advisory piece for this month start to sort of build the uh, start building the story and get attention on on our um, event in December which is is designed to continue accumulating these deals that we're already up to number well we're, we've got one and Jason's working on on three or four so let me not misstate here one with three or four in the pipeline so I have a handful of passes um, let's see what else here yeah the promotion will begin for um, for the uh, for the December event in in September uh, so just a couple weeks away uh, as I mentioned Zach's star power is is, is huge in December um, it's, it's a near certainty that he will be there uh, in December with us this time. Um, and Bernie, of course, is invited. I, I would assume he would be. I, I haven't asked for confirmation yet. So Zach and Bernie. Um, Ace, is, that's up to him. Um, and then our, you know, the people from our team, Alper will probably show up, and a few others. So that's where we stand on that. I sent out the first um, council email, welcome email today, the Sports Investing Advisory Council. There's now 79 people on that uh, council, so that's a very good start. All right, so um, bonus margin, just a refresher. Um, this is not, uh, you know, this is this is not garbage. It's not throwaway. This is very legitimate. The bonus margin that you get when you participate by um, donating funds and you get the certificate, the Golden Eagle, and the rest of the materials, that money that goes in, the, in your, in your um, ASM pilot account, the bonus margin, is, is, is valid. I mean, use it to trade, build your account. We've explained on the conference calls the plan. The plan has not changed uh, in spite of discussions on calls. That, that, those are just ideas. As it stands, the, plat, the, the platform or, or the paradigm uh, is not going to shift, and I, I actually don't see it shifting. It's it's people have made decisions, trading decisions based upon that. In fact, the market is now um, making records every couple of days. So, uh, to remind you what that was, the total value of your trading account, which is going to be cash plus sports shares, um, minus bonus margin, is the starting balance. Now, it is my intention to mean the starting balance in the regulated or the exempt market. That's the market where we are starting up the, the these these uh, smaller leagues that want to raise funds. So that that starts first, and then we migrate over. We shut down the pilot market and we move the balances over uh, to this new this new um, exempt slash regulated market that we're working on. So that's the plan. So there is still value in using that bonus margin to learn how to trade. Um, it's a hundred to one margin. That is not unheard of. It's actually even higher than that in the in the forex markets. So have some fun. Learn how to trade. Um, you know, I mean, hundred dollars creating a ten thousand dollar stake. That's that's pretty exciting, I would think. Um, and then realize that that your trading wins. That the the sum of all of your your account value less bonus margin. Uh, is going to be the starting point for your your new balance in the regulated slash exempt market, which you know it's going to start off as exempt. I can see that's what's happening here. So that uh, and then um, my intention is to do that as a straight one to one, but there there may be some intervening factors in the law or our discussion with regulators or however we do this that may not allow that. But but that's not going to be based on my decision it's going to be based on what comes back and i'll be very clear with everybody uh, how it happened why it happened and i'll prove you show you the documents and prove it and all that if it cannot be done one to one you're going to see why okay so and also the, those funds in fact at this point until we get through these uh, investment this investment process which has become a lot more uh, attractive now that we're building our order book, you know, one, two, three, four, that's what everybody wants to see. Um, in fact, I have the fourth investor meet, the fourth meeting with one of the leads tomorrow. Okay, this is the the meeting that Alper attended. He's not going to attend that. Somebody's going to call in. So um, that's that's how this that's how things are going to work. Okay, so the 
the bonus margin is, I mean, the funds that you give us, because we're still a nonprofit, we're going to be a nonprofit until this transition is completed. So that the funds that come in as a donation that create the bonus margin, that's the only income that we have to support ASM until we get through this process. So it's very important that we get as much participation as we can. I'm going to continue to build the value as much as possible so that it, it makes sense for people to participate. I always look at it from the perspective of the customer. Would I do this? Um, if I'm not going to buy it, I don't expect anybody else to. So um, the deals that I put out and the things that I put out is not stuff that I wouldn't buy. In fact, if I'm not excited about it, I know nobody else is going to be excited about it. So that's how I know it's going to work, in fact, is when I feel excited about it, I know that other people will be excited about it. So um, that is our only source of operational income. So it is very important that um, we continue to do this until we, we step off of the one and onto the other. And that transition, I, I mentioned this many times on the calls, I, I know it's, it's, I knew it would be difficult before we started it. It is difficult. <laughs> it, it's currently difficult. Um, but we, there's a lot of stuff on the other side. I mean, I hope you see the the actual purpose of ASM is being accomplished. And that's the whole purpose of the nonprofit is to build this entire system and all this infrastructure and then move all of that over onto the for-profit entity, which everybody has a stake in, or at least not everybody, but the people who have a stake in have a stake in. So, um, you know, a couple of other points before I close here. Uh, I think it's been going to become more important um, that we mention or mention we more we put more emphasis on the new asset class aspect of sports assets, um, safe haven, things that um, smart investors are looking for when they start to get a little nervous about the economy, which they are <laughs> uh, based on the numbers and everything happening. So uh, we're gonna you know that I think that's a, a, an important element. I mentioned this a few times. Uh, it's going to become a focus more of a focus for us going forward. And um, as a talking point, the, uh, the idea that ASM is kind of like a GoFundMe for sports, we're kind of playing around with that to see if that messaging works. Um, we'll see. I'm not 100% I'm not sure that's, that's going to fit, but uh, it might. Okay, so uh, in closing, um, help us bridge the gap, basically to fill our first million dollar order, because that's what it is. Um, sports shares sport shares sport shares.net is the is the website there is a loyalty program there that, that generates points it's you know it's 10,000 the same 10,000 sports folio points that are represented on the the uh, the golden eagle certificate are also represented in the loyalty program so so it's it's keeping track of it there and there will be some items that you can redeem it for. I'll be adding things to that store as well, things that I know people like from our previous promotions, so you can redeem it there. Uh, and you can also purchase um, gift cards for other people there, which is something people have asked me about many times. You can, you can do that as well, and the links have already been sent around to everybody. And then um, this weekend, I am on Saturday morning, it's uh, probably pretty early. I, I'm not going to fix the time yet because I'm not sure how much more time I need to complete the materials. But um, there will be a, a, another uh, update going out Saturday morning. And as part of that, um, I will explain to everyone how they can get um, a copy of the unfiltered conference calls going all the way back to the point we stopped, which was explained on the last phone call, the last unfiltered conference call um, that was going to be distributed went out la um, a couple days ago. So there will be no more of that. It will be private from this point forward, and the only way you can get a copy is to, um, is to get it from us through some program that, that we create that puts it on the USB drive and or gives you access via a secure system that we're going to set up because I know people want to hear this and I still want to communicate it. And actually, since we're not going to be distributing it anymore and we're going to just be putting summaries in the public domain, we can actually open up the conversation a bit wider because there's been some measuring of the call because we knew it would be published. So with the unfiltered calls that are going to be put in a secure system, we actually will be able to have more um, frank conversations with more details and that's what will be available to people who 
um, we know are legitimate stockholders and are not uh, trying to cause harm, which is basically what put us in this situation and caused the change. Frankly, it's uh, probably a, a blessing in disguise. Um, this was a system that was too open, and um, this is how we learned a lesson. So for those of you who should have the calls unfiltered, you're actually going to get um, more uh, data in detail because we're going to lock it down, and you will be able to get a copy of the archive. Uh, just keep an eye on your, on your email this weekend because I'll be sending out how you can do that. So I think I've covered everything here. If not, I'll... Um, I'll cover it on the on the Saturday update. So thank you for your time uh, and have a great weekend. Okay, bye now.